Welcome Libra. We're going to be looking at what action you need to take for this year using the Work Your Light Oracle cards and I have specifically pulled out the action cards so that we can have a look at what it is that you need to be doing. Okay, so let's have a look. One card for Libra please. One card for Libra. What action does Libra need to take for 2024? Wow. Wow. There it is. There it is. Okay. Get grounded. Okay. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Alrighty. Okay. So let's have a look further into this, shall we? Libra. Get grounded. Tell me more about this. Yeah, okay. Let me just pick these ones up off the floor. Okay, Libra. We've got so many cards jump out here, it's actually not funny. Um, but that's okay, because, you know, it always tells a story, right? And here's the thing, Libra, is that there's this, there's this sense of... Um, where do I even start? Like, get grounded, right? First off, we have... We have trust and transformation here. And um, I want to say about this, Libra, what is coming through first and foremost is this, um, it's kind of like a leap of faith in a sense, but not in your traditional way of that being. It's more in this way of a leap of faith in yourself, right, of um, actually trusting yourself, having having your own back, not relying on anyone else to have that for you. So regardless of what anyone else says, knowing what it is that you want to do and doing that anyway, you know, um, it's kind of like if you want to colour your hair pink and everyone says, oh God, don't do that, like, you know, whatever, just as an example, um, you know, but it's something you really want to do, but because everyone's saying not to, that you go, oh, well, I won't then, because people are going to think X, Y, Z, but it's something you truly, truly have always wanted to do, do it. Like, there's this need to be um, absolutely turning away from, see, the conditioning that others put on you, right, of... Um, of being tied to a certain narrative, I guess. Um, and that is the narrative, not just of other, other people, but of your own mind. Because actually through looking at these cards, the sense I get the most is that it's you first and foremost when I'm talking about other people or being held back or whatever, it's actually you doing that to yourself before anyone else can. And part of that is because you will do that before anyone else can. This is really interesting because we have this new vision here of you stepping out, stepping out of the box and stretching, coming up for air, stretching. Beside that, we have conditioning and we have stress, right? And so this is so interesting. These energies here are so interesting. And I feel like this new vision here absolutely can undo all of this if you allow it to, because what's going to happen is actually as you as you come up and move out of what you've been conditioned to do, the stress that holds you down and in this box and, and in these shapes of being what it is that works for not just others but you, because that's your comfort zone and that's what you know, um, that this there's going to be a life force 
that actually comes up through you. And I think this came up in Leo's reading. I think it was Leo. Um, where you're going to start going, you know, it's like, it's sort of like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So getting grounded right, it's kind of like when you put your feet on the earth, there's a heartbeat. There's a heartbeat from from Mother Earth that will rise up through you and you will beat as one. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. And each heartbeat is going to wake you up and give you life in a way that you have never had. Okay, so it's going to allow you to stretch in ways that you didn't ever deem possible. Okay, we have living moment to moment. There's um, this isolation card here as well. So if there's periods in your life where things are really, really tough, take it moment by moment, not day by day, not hour by hour, but moment by by moment, minute by minute, second by second, because as you go through this transformation and having to trust in you, you're going to need, you know, it's going to feel like potentially there you're walking some shaky ground here, and that's what happens with change, you know, that doesn't mean that all this bad stuff's going to come and happen to you, Change can be scary regardless of what it is, even if you want it, even if you want to move to a new house and it's your dream house and it's in a new city and it's like so exciting or you want to start a new business and it's what you've always dreamed of and you're super, super excited. It's still a change that um, that is, you know, can be scary, right? And so it's, it's learning to um, walk on this new foundation, you know, and it's like... You know, I think we would all have these questions of, is it solid enough? Have I laid out enough, um, you know, on the foundation for this to hold me? What if it gets really big? Then is that foundation going to be strong enough? What if it doesn't work? What if it crumbles? You know, all these things come into it, right? So these are the sorts of things that are important for you to to come out and go oh my gosh I'm really afraid of this you know and and not keep that to yourself and not close yourself off okay um, because doing that is going to allow you know this this bubble underneath you to pop okay and um, and it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to have that faith and have that trust um, to allow this transformation to take place, okay? Um, for some of you, this is actually about a new relationship here. We have um, going with the flow and friendliness. So this is about combining um, in a an emotional way, okay? Um, I feel like... I just, you know, I just feel like there's heaps of fear here, which is really interesting. Really interesting. And we have the sharing card here. And what I want to say about this is... So we also have receptivity here as well. And um, this is about being open to... Being open to share at a very vulnerable in a very vulnerable state, okay? Because there's sort of like this sharing that gets done to a certain point, um, but it's not actually enough to fully open up, and the growth just doesn't actually take place um, because. Things are only done to a certain point. And this is why, yeah, see, this is the thing, right? Um, is like we have um, these two cards here, but then we don't have any, like we don't have the three, we don't have the four, we don't have the five. It's like, it's like just these two and that's it. You know, there's no continuation from that. It's like I'm only going to open up a little bit. And then that's all. I'm only going to take these two steps towards this dream that I have or this thing that I want to do. And that's it. And I'll see how it goes. And if it doesn't work, then, you know, but it's kind of like, boom, 
you need to open up fully and allow whatever to take place to take place. Um, yeah, we also have this comparison card here. Um, I feel like this is actually about you needing to get to mutual ground here rather than focusing on what it is that you have, what it is that someone else has or is doing or, um, you know, the knowledge or whatever it is, it's coming to this mutual um, grounding, okay, and understanding that that really doesn't matter. Because the space in the middle is the same for each. Two completely different trunks of trees here. But the space in the middle and the life force that they obtain from the earth and the air and the rain and the sun, it's the same. That is the same. They are naturally going to grow differently because they are different. So there is no comparison to be made. So it's a waste of time, a waste of energy, even putting anything into that. Right? Nothing is less than, nothing is better than. It just is. It's only the energy and the, and the focus that you put into it that is creating that. It actually isn't, it doesn't exist otherwise. Right? suppression see this is what holds you down this comparison that holds you down so you lock away you lock away all these all these treasures all these jewels and you keep yourself down so that no one will possibly see what it is there that is ready to shine because of this fear Right? And that's what keeps you isolated. Hmm. Yeah. There's this wall. There's a wall that gets built and you might let a few bricks out of it at a time, but you never fully completely let it down. Because of fear. So the thing is that in order to grow, in order to actually make progress in this day and age, the brick wall needs to be smashed down, man. Like, you know, it's no good there. No one's moving anywhere with that there. You know, it's not like, oh, I'll just bring this out and test it and maybe I'll look at taking a brick down in a year. Nah, you've just got to go for it, you know. Sort of like just, yeah, stand up and go for it. Okay, so let's have a look at Get Grounded here. I'll read this out of the book. When I find it, gosh, these pages, here we go, pages are hard to turn. Okay, get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. You have been called to get grounded, to ensure that your luminous field is clear and your inner well is full. If you're not grounded, it is all too easy to get swept up in other people's energy and mistake it for your own. Your boundaries will become blurred as you are absorbing the energies around you and struggling to define what is their stuff and what is yours. If you pulled this card, you are very likely an empath or a highly sensitive person and need the time alone to fill up your well. Balance your energy and get grounded. There are two types of people. Those who draw their energy from others and those who draw their energy from within. Reflect on which one you are and carve out time each day to ensure your well is being replenished. Being sensitive is a superpower, but like all powers, it needs to be nurtured in order to be fulfilled. It is easy to get swept up in the high frequency energies that are swirling around the planet. The quickest and most effective way of clearing all of this from your field is to ground yourself by connecting with Mother Earth. There are many ways to get grounded, 
one of the most powerful ones is to practice earthing by connecting to the power of Mother Earth. Spend time in nature. Put your hands on a tree. Your palms are extensions of your heart chakra. Or walk barefoot on the earth. Do something to get grounded and connect with the earth. That is your action that you need to take, okay? Doing something to get grounded and connect with the earth. Okay, Libra, I'm going to leave that with you so you can go outside and get grounded. Oh, that didn't come out. Grounded. <laughs> okay, right. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.